SAG-AFTRA has recently signed a agreement with corporations to allow themselves to be licensed as AI uh, to garner other uses of AI to replicate their voices in video games. And uh, I want to talk about it. First and foremost, I don't know how to feel about it. Uh, part of me is like, why the fuck did you go on strike in the first place? We're we're out here striking and supporting you guys because we think that the use of AI to steal your voices and replicate you and put you out of a job is a bad thing. But at the same time, it yeah, it went back around. It went full circle, right? It's like, okay, we'll use AI only if we consent to it. And that's a big thing, right, with AI, is AI can work whenever you're consenting to it, whenever you're not getting put out of a job, but instead you're like, yes, you can use it, I'm getting compensated, and I'm also getting put in all these other projects. Now, I feel that this can uh, lose a sense of personability, right, with it, if you... Um, like, let's take uh, a really big recent uh, voice actor, right? Uh, let's say Laura Bailey. I don't know if Laura Bailey has, like, said anything or has agreed to this or anything like that. Uh, but she is merely a theoretical and popular voice actor for this hypothetical, right? That's what I'm saying. Uh, if her voice gets stolen for the use of AI and maybe says some inflammatory things that are not good, it could hurt her. But then if she comes around and is like, yes, let's use AI for this project, then that could be a good idea. But if it's just used to be like, okay, I'm saving myself some time, generate my voice saying this stuff, all right, go ahead. That's uh, – I don't know how to feel about that. That's a little icky. Um, but when it comes to the scenario of something like a procedurally generated video game where every time it's something new – uh, it does cut down on time uh, recording things, but we've seen in the past stuff like that of procedurally generated voice lines anyway from a collection of voice lines before then. But using a algorithm and language learning model to then replicate the voice after, from that consented pool of pre-recorded voice lines to create something new could be very interesting if used correctly in a creative sense i i believe that that could really work i mean look at the finals i don't like that the finals uses <laughs> ai but i feel like it can work especially if you play into it with the the story in the game the game is like a dystopic kind of we're killing each other for the for views and for money like cutting corners instead of having real like commentators you're having ai voices that's that fits into the story right um i believe that that's that can be used for good um and the use of ai not just in voice but potentially again in procedural generation we've seen it already we've seen procedurally generated stuff with algorithms and with scripts fucking minecraft's the biggest game of all time and it uses uh procedurally generated environments with seas and so on to randomly create a brand new world every time terraria basically does that too or um like there's a ton of stuff that can be used that uh using ai internally to curate a player's experience based on what they do instead of it just going down linear paths it's something new each time and then combined with something like characters reacting to you and then obviously with the consent of voice actors can create something interesting i don't believe that ai is purely <laughs> the worst thing ever uh but obviously with the prevalency of like mid journey stealing art uh not crediting anyone or uh or just ai being used to impersonate people anyway uh it is something that needs to be honed and to be like uh have oversight right have contracts in place or have um 
quality control over and so on because we don't need a situation where everything is is ai right dead internet i said this in the last video dead internet theory is already very much a real thing with the prevalency of bots i'm not saying that i'm the only person on the internet i'm just saying that a lot of retention and viewership is probably just porn bots i'm just saying um but yeah like uh, I feel that AI in video games and AI in creative senses can work when it's used creativ creatively and not just soullessly, right? AI can never replace an artist, but it can be used with an artist for a creative idea. And I'm not saying this as in, you know, those viral videos of a person barely drawing and it prompts, you know, generation behind them. And it's like, why not just learn to become an artist at that point? You're already putting in enough work to generate this image, right? <laughs> I, but I mean, what I mean by that is like, so like with Secret Invasion, right? You could have used that AI intro sequence with the help of actual artists to feed it information to then give the sense of uncanniness because of the premise of the show of people rep being replaced by things that imitate them. It could have worked. Instead, it's putting people out of a job. And it's like, oh, we're replacing you with robots. Um, you would think that we would want to use artificial intelligence to lift the burden off of us so that we can put our our attention to the things that matter but instead it, we're just being replaced in general and left behind <laughs> so uh yeah i i believe that it can be it can work uh and i feel like it has worked somehow some way probably in the past with procedural generation and learning algorithms and so on but it can never replace an actual artist it can never outdo hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of tireless hours of creativity that a normal and a true artist will be able to do but it can be used as an effective asset and utility when done right um uh, like hell when it comes to like real time uh generation of things such as in video games it's not just animations on loop. It's procedurally being generated. Water physics, for example, is something that is constantly... I mean, I know it's not entirely the same, but uh, it's good to bring up that, like, we are already on the cusp of stuff being generated on the fly based on input from the player or so on uh, to make something feel more alive, right? That AI thing with Skyrim, that Skyrim mod... I believe that's a really cool idea um, that can lead to a lot of cool interactions with player and game uh, if done right. I mean, obviously now it still feels very bland. It feels very forced. Uh, it's fun to use. And AI can definitely be used as a private thing for fun, just to fuck around with. Um, I know me and my friends have... Uh, fucked around with AI in private just because it's like funny to see the stuff that it pulls right um, but you have to be very careful when it comes to this stuff because of the society that we live in having free labor is an amazing asset and people will take that over actually paying people proper wages and having control over that production any day of the week just to line their pockets um but yeah if you want to comment on this and give your take on it leave it down below uh i will i love hearing interaction and i love hearing and starting and doing conversation but as always uh if you want to see more click subscribe and if you want to be notified every single time that i upload hit the be notified and all that other stuff like comment like i just said uh, if you want to um but yeah as always i will see you guys in the next video
Bye-bye. Get to 10 minutes. Bye.